both, both or, neither, neither or, both. We use both to refer to two things or people together. Both those chairs are occupied, I am afraid. The two chairs are occupied. Are both of parents going to Chile? Are your mother and father going to Chile? Both with nouns. When we use both before the determiner, for example, e, an, the, she, his, plus noun, both and both of can be used. She knew both my children, or both of my children. Both her brothers are living in Canada, or both of her brothers. We can use both before a noun. This button starts both in genes at the same time, or both of the engines. Are both cats female? Both with pronouns. Pronoun plus both. We can use both after a subject pronoun or an object pronoun. We both prefer classical music. Let's open them both now. Both of plus object pronoun. When we use both as part of a subject or object, which is a pronoun, it may be followed by of plus an object pronoun. We both dislike soap operas. Subject pronoun plus both. Or both of us dislike soap operas. Both plus of plus object pronoun. She looked at both of us. We usually use both of plus object pronoun after prepositions. He shouted at both of them. Preferred to he shouted at them both. That will be so nice for both of you. Preferred to that will be so nice for you both. Both as a pronoun. We can use both on its own as a pronoun. There are two youth hostels in your city. Both are described as expensive, dirty, with poor lighting and poor security. Applicants for this course must speak French or German, preferably both. Both. Position. If both refers to the subject of a clause, we can use it in the normal mid-position of adverbs between the subject and main verb after a model verb or the first auxiliary verb or after be as a main verb they both wanted to sell the house between the subject and the main verb they had both been refused entry to the nightclub after the first auxiliary or model verb they were both very nice kind and beautiful after be as a main verb not they both were very nice adverbs both in short answers we use both on its own in short answers a would you like something to drink b a coffee and a tea please a both b yeah one for me and one for Brenda. She's joining us in a minute. A. Are you working on Monday or Wednesday next week? B. Both. Not the both. Both of or neither of in negative clauses. We usually use neither of rather than both of not in negative clauses. Neither of them can swim. Preferred to, both of them can swim. Neither of my brother lives at home anymore. Preferred to, both of my brothers don't live at home anymore. When a negative verb is used, we use either of. In informal speaking, we often use a plural verb after either, even though it's a singular word. She didn't like either dress. She looked at two dresses. A. Are Jim and Leslie both coming? B. 
We don't know if either of them are coming, or more formally, if either of them is coming. Both and as a linking expression. We use both and to emphasize the link between two things. This makes a stronger connection than and alone. Both Britain and France agree on the treaty. Stronger link than Britain and France agree on the treaty. She played both hockey and basketball when she was a student. Stronger link than she played hockey and basketball when she was a student. Conjunctions Both Typical errors We don't use both with a negative verb. We use easy instead. There was not a considerable difference in percentage for either sex in term of having bachelor's degree. Not. There was not a considerable difference in percentage for both sex. When we use the verb be as a main verb, both comes after the verb. These films are both famous with people of all ages. Not. These films both are famous. Neither, neither no, and not either. Neither as a determiner. Neither allows us to make a negative statement about two people or things at the same time. Neither goes before single accountable nouns. We use it to say not either in relation to two things. Neither can be pronounced neither or neither. Neither parents came to meet the teacher. The mother didn't come and the father didn't come. Neither dress fitted her. There were two dresses and not one of them fitted her. We use neither of before pronouns and plural countable nouns which have a determiner, my, his, their, before them. Neither of us went to the concert. Neither of the birthday cards were suitable. Spoken English. In formal styles, we use neither of with a singular verb, when it's the subject. However, in informal speaking, people often use plural verbs. Neither of my best friends was around. Neither of them were interested in going to university. In speaking, we can use neither on its own in replies when we are referring to two things that have already been mentioned. A. Mike, which would you prefer, tea or coffee? B. Neither, thanks. I have just had a coffee. Neither, no. We can use neither as a conjunction with no. It connects two or more negative alternatives. This can sound formal in speaking. Neither Brian nor his wife mentioned anything about moving house. Brian didn't mention that they were moving house. And his wife didn't mention that they were moving house. Neither Italy nor France got to the quarterfinals last year. The less formal alternative is to use and not either. Italy didn't get to the quarterfinals last year and France didn't either. After neither of, a singular or a plural verb is possible. Neither of the children wants or want to go to bed. Not either. Not with neither and no. When a clause with neither or no is used after a negative clause, we invert the subject and the verb after neither and no. He hadn't done any homework. Neither had he brought any of his books to class. We didn't get to see the castle. No. Did we see the cassidron?
conjunctions. Neither do I, nor can she. We use neither and nor, plus auxiliary, modal verb, plus subject, to mean also not. A. I hate snakes. I can't even look at a picture of a snake. B. Neither can I. A. Jacqueline doesn't drive. B. Nor does Gina. Not Gina doesn't also. So am I. So do I. Neither do I. Not either. We can use not either to mean also not. But we do not change the word order of the auxiliary of modal verb and subject. A. I haven't ever tasted caviar. B. I haven't either. Or neither have I. Nor have I. A. I didn't see Leslie at the concert. B. I didn't either. Or neither did I. Nor did I. In informal speaking, we often say me neither. A. I can't smell anything. B. Me neither. Or I can't either. Neither. Typical errors. We use neither, not known, when we are talking about two people or things. Books and television are different. Neither of them should replace the other. Not none of them. We don't formally use both of plus not to make a negative statement about two people or things. Neither of these shirts is are dry yet. Not both of these shirts aren't dry yet. Let's get down to practice now. Neither of the children seemed concerned about the flight though. By the way, neither Alex nor I drink. It was neither good nor bad in her mind back then. It simply was. Neither do I, and we should. I'm sure neither Queen nor Marta is surprised and Harvey is probably asleep. She had neither the breath nor the voice to talk. Neither of them was looking for a mate. For a few minutes, neither of them spoke while they put away their breakfast. They are both good. They are both in the room. Both of my parents are dead. Hold the ball in both hands. They are both good teachers. You can't have it both ways. Both of them are in the room. Hold the box with both hands. Hold the vase with both hands. You and he are both very kind. Have both of you already eaten? I can afford one, but not both. Both countries are now at peace. I had a hard time making both ends meet. Both of the girls are wearing white suits. Both of those students didn't pass the test. He can speak both English and French very well. Let's have some trial tests now. You have to choose the right answer. Linda, Helen, called to say sorry. I am very sad and frustrated. A. Either and. B. Both and. C. Not only but. D. Neither nor. E. Also and. 